a behind the scenes tour of one of the Bay Area's theater institutions, the Lesher Center. And since the show must go on, let's head on backstage to see how it all happened. Hey Scott, how's it hey, going? How are you doing, Ruby? Thank Good you for the you. tour. Now everybody, this is Scott Dennison. He is the general manager for the Lesher Center for the Arts going to take us on a fun adventure today. Yeah, normally we go in the lobby and in the seating areas, okay. but you and I are going to go backstage and see the magic that takes place back here. All right, should we get let's, started? Let's go. Okay. Now we're in the green room, the performer assembly room, and this is where all the cast for all three theaters come. And they can relax and they can learn lines and they can sort of break down the shell of their character that they do up on stage so they can be normal people. Mm -hmm. It's really spacious in here too. It's really a nice space, very comfortable because there's sometimes actors might be here 10 hours because of rehearsals and performances and things like that. And on a double day when they're doing a matinee in an evening, they're here a long time. I see a lot of fun pictures, but this photo behind us has a pretty interesting history. This is a great photograph. Um, as you know, this was an old walnut warehouse that uh, the city sort of changed from a walnut warehouse into a theater for nine months out of the year and then converted back. And then in 1965, it was converted because the Walnut Growers Association moves to Fresno. And to 1988, it operated as a 449 seat theater. On the last day, we produced a show called Thanks for the Memory and had the audience come up on stage and they had a lot of memories about this building that was here before. And so I invited them to paint their name on the back wall and promised we'd take a photograph of it before the ball hit the building the next day and we'd hang it somewhere of honor and so the green room is where it hangs. Now you mentioned taking a picture of this before the wrecking ball came in, but you were here for that. Talk to us about that transition and building the new building that we're in now. Well, it's, it's really amazing because we went from a 449 seater theater to an 800 seat theater, a 300 seat theater, and a 133 seat theater. So 72,000 square foot building was erected on this site. Now, in 1988, when that ball hit the building and tore down the old walnut warehouse, we started construction and we opened on October 4th, 1990. And we had, performing on stage, Bob Hope, Vic Damone, Diane Carroll, and Joel Gray all one night. That first audience, they all paid $1,000 a piece to attend that opening performance. It was an event in Walnut Creek, for sure. Well, Scott, that sounds amazing. What a perfect opening. It was great, and we've had a lot of great performances since then over the last 30 years. Hey, why don't we check out one of the dressing rooms? I would love that. All right. So we're fortunate to have Lisa and, and Rachel here and they're putting on makeup for a show and we're really excited about that. Um, and one of the interesting things about what they're doing is as they look at themselves in the mirror, the color temperature of the lights around them, they're all LEDs, only five years ago did the technology happen, that the color temperature here will match the color temperature they'll experience on stage. And if that wasn't true, they'd look great down here like they do now and they'd go up on stage and look green to the audience. Fantastic, thanks for joining us. So how early before a show do you tend to show up? Well, our call is 30 minutes before, but depending on the character, if we have a lot of makeup or a difficult costume to get into, we might show up a little bit early. Like maybe you have a wig or something. Yeah, or if I haven't like pinned my hair up yet, I might come a little early and just do it here if I didn't want to come with pin curls. Now I have to ask, because as someone in the audience, we're always so excited before a show. What is the energy like back here as you're getting ready? I think people are pretty excited and yeah. looking forward to our show. Someone might put music on, something upbeat that keeps us energized. Well, great, thank you again for joining us. Thank you. Ruby, now we are in the trap room of the Lesher Theater. 
Very cool. I mean, I've never heard of a trap room. It sounds exciting though. It's very exciting because we can actually remove four by four squares okay. out of the stage floor to have a big hole. And then if there's a scene where we want somebody to pop out or pop down on a staircase, like they're going to a basement scene or something, it's already ready made. So actors don't have to kind of duck behind a flat to look like that. As an example, we use trap rooms not only for storage, but we also use it for a Christmas carol where Marley pops out of the floor. So it's pretty exciting for, to have a trap room and the availability to, to use that. Absolutely, it sounds really cool. Hey Steve, how you doing? Good. We're at the rail right now, which is in the Hoffman Theater. You know, the large part of the building you see as you approach the Lesser Center is directly above a 65 foot fly tower. And we can put two or three shows in the air at the same time. And Steve Pino is our lead technician. And what happens is Steve brings down a bat and a pipe. We tie a heavy piece of scenery on it or a curtain. And he figures out how much weight he needs to add to the pin rail and then he flies the arbor and flies it out and he does this every single day. Wow, and there is a lot here behind us. So how many, what is it, lines, rails? Line sets. Are, lines. There's yeah. 41 line sets. Each one has a capacity of 1,500 pounds. Wow, and a fun fact I heard earlier, the front curtain, is it the main curtain? The main curtain weighs 940 pounds. Wow, impressive, and you're doing that by yourself. One guy can do it okay. all day. Now during the show, mm -hmm. the actors cannot cross this yellow line. Steve's the only one who can cross it because he may be bringing something in like the Grand Drape and then have to run down to the upstage to uh, bring in some other drop. Wow, very busy back here. You're mm -hmm. running, it's pitch black and you're going back and forth and yep. pulling and lowering and... It's pretty exciting back very here. Very exciting. Yeah. So let's set off to the light booth and sound booth and check that out. Okay, All thanks right. Steve. You're welcome. Yeah, this is the control booth um, because all our theaters have computerized lighting and computerized sound. So this happens to be the control booth for the Hoffman Theater. Now, one of the nice things about that is we can have two, four, five, ten, twenty different shows loaded into this light board computer at the same time. So we can switch over from a symphony to a ballet to a play to Christmas Carol to do whatever we want to do. And we actually have some cues built in here. Okay. So instead of moving all of the channels, which are like dimmers, a 200 of them, you can just push that button right there and can, change the lights. I can do that now? Let's try it. Okay. Wow, look oh, what you did. Oh, that looks amazing. Okay, push it again. Okay. And now you're changing it again and push it one more time. All right, you see how you can change okay. the light just with one touch and you've changed 200 lighting instruments. So they're to programmed change. already in a se certain sequence? Right, okay. so we have designers that come across the country that design the lights that we program into the board and then they go off to another show and we just run the buttons by pushing this and run the show and it's all, all magic. Very, very interesting. Same thing happens with sound, so okay. we can preset all of our wireless devices and microphones and everything and then the sound operator pushes a button and it changes all the levels on the board and the only thing we have to worry about is if some actor is sick we have to then adjust that manually but it all works and it's the way we can do the 850 performances we do here at the Lesher Center. Wow, that is very impressive. Now you also have spotlights and that's upstairs? Two levels up. Okay. We have follow spots and so there's an operators that are up there and they have to move and follow and the hardest part about that is you have to keep your eye on your subject. You can't yeah. start watching the show. You have to stay with whoever you're, you're spotlighting. So it's, uh, it's a fun, fun time to work in theater. It's a great little sandbox to play in every day. Okay, I'd like to end on another one if okay, I may. Okay, go for it. Okay, look at that magic.
Scott, thank you so much for this behind the scenes tour. Thanks Ruby, come by anytime. Now listen, now you know all about putting makeup on actors, running lights, and running the rail, and then you can know what a trap room is. I love it, yes. And now all of you at home do as well now. What if they would like to experience a show for themselves? Very easy. Call 925-943-SHOW, S-H-O-W, or go to our website, lesherartscenter.org. Okay, lots of great shows coming up for all of you, so make sure you visit the website and we'll see you at the Lesher.